process and installation of three phase 150 kVA generator set, including control typical at uh, the radar facility. Okay. 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 Evaluation report for the purchase, installation of three phase 150 PVA uh, diesel engine generator set, including control cubicles in the entire radar station. The approved ABC is 4,999,292 pesos and 53 centavos. <coughs> uh, the date of opening was August 27, 2019, with a feeder. Multico Prime Power Incorporated with a submitted bid of four million nine hundred ninety-seven thousand nine hundred. While during the bid evaluation, the calculated bid uh, amounted to four million nine hundred ninety-five thousand nine hundred. So our findings: the Multico Prime Power. Submitted bid is for million nine hundred ninety-seven thousand nine hundred, and calculated bid is four million nine hundred ninety-five thousand nine hundred. Uh, it is a low bidder. Uh, the submitted bid has uh, arithmetic arithmetical error, but uh, still it is uh, below the ABC, and it is some. Um, Items it is uh, found to be uh, not compliant. So, Multico uh, Prime Power in Robert Report a bid amount of 4,997,900, which is below the ABC of 4,999,292 and 53 centavos. Uh, Multiple prep power equipment did yield the discrepancy on the arithmetic computation and PWG calculated amount is for million and million and nine hundred thousand nine hundred. The calculated bid amount is still below the ABC of four million nine hundred twenty two thousand two hundred ninety two and fifty two cent However, multiple prep power equipment submitted bill of quantities Part of financial compliance showed no specific quantities on several sub items or items 1 and 2, page 6 of 14 and 8 of 14, thus rendering the bid to be incomplete and non responsive. Based on I 9184, section 32.2.1, completeness of the bid unless instructions to bid there specifically allowed. Partial bids. Bids that undersink or providing one of the required items in the bidding documents, including or applicable, depend on quantities, shall be considered non responsive and thus automatically disqualified. In this regard, where a required items is provided but no price is indicated, the same shall be considered as non responsive. Therefore, recommendations based on the above bid evaluation findings, speci specifically on the item number four. The BAPTI director recommends a bid of vertical prime power to be for disqualification. Can you show us uh, page six and page six?
So in this particular uh, page of the feed of quantities, the feeder did not um, reflect the quantity of this particular uh, uh, items. So he only, <coughs> the feeder did not reflect the quantity of the power cables, also the terminal lugs and the grounding rods with clubs. He only mentioned here meters, pieces, but no specific quantities. He also reflected the unit cost and the total cost. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
term of reference which is yes. six seconds. And we should put the unit is a for your meter, which is you know, you are this column scan, this is this column is for the real cost. And the other one the last one is that for the amount. Uh, you're very much uh results and yeah. you know, I just want to compare with other grid dogs where the other items are not in pieces, like the number of aircon, number of doors, automatic and other things. I don't know. Pa yung number of pieces na yun doon sa plano or depende sa estimate mga people? It was not specified as well. Yeah, I, I know it's... Uh, what I'm asking is whether uh, the number of the the material uh, is uh, exact in your... In your uh, it, it is also an estimate. Satisfactorily complied with all the requirements set forth in the 2016 revised IRR of Republic Act 9184. In August 22, 2019, a negotiation meeting with Expedia Solutions Specialist Incorporated was held at Fort Lord. 
Kaab Conferensyo. There are findings uh, <coughs> Expedia Solution Specialist uh, offer the discount but uh, they, the discount is 5,000 but they added the 12% percent input tax so therefore their uh, Total offer is 155,388 and 80 So therefore, our recommendations, based on the above findings, the Bank of India recommends experienced solution specialists open to undergo post-qualification process to determine whether the bidder is concerned, complies with, and is responsive to all requirements and conditions as specified in the bidding document. What, what will be done with you? This one is the previous installer of the system. These are the other ones who So in the post qualification, what are we going to do? So uh, we go to post qualification report. Uh, 
here, there's just a technical error. The 3.1 should be the supply and delivery of bulbs and lamps for various airfield lighting system at Papalong Chile Airport. Ah, hindi Hindi po sir. Mr. Chair, this is the first qualification report for the <coughs> supply and delivery of bulbs and lamps for various worker lighting systems at the Bacolod Chilite Airport. So the approved ABC is 1,619,400 and the meter, average computer Everton equipment corporation submitted a bid amount of 1,598,888. 888,000. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888. 1,598,888
the amount of uh, 1 million, I have for this project is 8 million 19,000 and the bidder West Point Engineering Supplies submitted the bid amount of 8 million 85,000 so our findings class uh, A documents submitted by uh, West Point Engineering the project certificate submitted is responsive, registration certificate for DDI is responsive, BIOS permit, tax clearance, statement of all its ongoing, com complete, ongoing and completed government and private contracts, responsive, audited financial statement, responsive. NFCC, uh, responsive, tax clearance, responsive, for technical document, bid security declarations, responsive, conformity with technical specifications as enumerated and specified in section 6 and 7 of the bidding documents, they are not responsive. Some of the technical specifications reflected in the submitted bid documents such as equipment, technical characteristics, specifications, manuals or sales materials, brochures did not comply with project general requirements, such technical evaluation by the user. So, so the rest, they are responsive except the uh, technical uh, specifications specified by the user, they are not just working. This is the uh, technical evaluation from the end user.
system license window server. The dimension comply then of the place. The supply brochures and or attached reference do not support their compliance statement and the required specification provision. Right B, minimum of four. The dimension comply. The builder proposed server contains only what internal 3.5 Inch are described beams. Are described capacity minimum 2 terabyte 3.5 inch SATA. The dimension comply. The next 7060. The builder cannot supply two 3.5 inch since only one slot is available. Okay, so what is the 
In general, West Point Middle Supplies bid for this project replacement of metro equipment at Pagadian Airport is recommended for post disqualification or the artist.
So all of this, this project has been started in our outside. Yes. Uh, good morning, sir. And about the So, pre procurement conference where we get air for the project. Previous project was uh, BB. And the first meeting is a failure to do. Completeness of the loan bidder during the opening, during bid evaluation, which resulted uh, failure of bidding. And for the bidding documents, sir, uh, no revision was made and still the same ABC. This is the first uh, failure of bidding previously. Yes, sir. This is the first, first failure of bidding. Yes, sir. So it will be like that. Yes, sir. I move to adopt the Recommendation of the leader for posting event of the leader. I motion to Considering that the, this one will be a new project, yes. because the first one uh, we revised the uh, program uh, support uh, due to the revision and the department. We recommend that we start this project before we are going to have charity. Okay. Uh, charity. Okay. <laughs> Since it's new, yeah, it's new, it's new, new project. project. <laughs> The uh, PC was revised due to the uh, tax issue, so technically it's a new project. From 49 to 46. Yeah. 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 We are reducing the tax. <coughs> it's a new project. So, I'm sure you need to transfer to charity. You need to go to the Okay. Uh, can we 
we see the program book, please? Here is that uh, we will be very, very responsible in uh, 
in this design of uh, project because uh, if we look at the function of ETS, it is not it is not a function of ETS to uh, procure or to have it. So we will be designing authority for this project. Although it is designed, but uh, the whole thing will be well. Uh, this, this is just part. This is a requirement of the ETS only. Uh, with regards to the implementation, uh, uh, we still don't have that. That lack of lack of Yeah. So, so I think there is a need for the ETS to be the ETS. However, um, however, there are there are already uh, projects before that was implemented by ETS, uh, like the uh, improvement of the office in the third floor of uh, rooftop of the system in building right now. This one is uh, considering the amount. I, I would suggest that uh, it will be a conference of EDMS will be by EDMS because uh, we know that uh, service is <coughs> independent of separate service, it is a separate service. But the one who, are, who will be conduct, who should be conducted <coughs> will be open. Should be kept from the So, my only question is, be
great aim is to be undertaking the project. Uh, and then I should uh, fully undertake all the preparation so that those uh, items that are, uh, are findings will be addressed. Especially the you know, you know, title of the project in the title is it's about it. So it's a repair. And none of us have been in the project. So to the improvement of the AFC market. And I have to say, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to
to refer to to ability just only the second floor. However, there are there are uh, comments made by the ADMS uh, like other drawings and, and, uh, and of course the uh, program of work, the computation of program. Of work. I thought it was six percent. That's why I put it six percent. As previously, just I just maybe I just uh, missed the five percent. Six percent. There are there are schedules of tax tax and corresponding with the uh, with the uh, uh, OCMs. Uh, I thought it was six percent, the twelve percent in uh, corresponding to the amount five million dollars more than ten million different tax and tax inputs. So, and then the next thing is the rehabilitation, the title, rehabilitation of the HCLB. There is a comment that uh, each of the improvement of the HCLB because of the amount to change the amount. So, if it is an emo, under the APP, there is a repair rehabilitation improvement of office services. Oh, yeah. It's under the So, under the MOU, you should have to do it. So, okay, I'm here. Yes, okay, I'm here. So, okay. So, for the meantime, we will assure that it will be APS. So, to guide you, tignan pa natin yung ikan doon. Yung halimbawa, pick up license. So, first of all natin is yung nakita natin is yung tax. Pangalawa yung for CPM. Ano sabi? Dahil sa mga yun, Okay, so then. Para hindi mo siya sila. So, of course, sa Okay, it will be uh, deeper. Uh, kailangan patahanin yung ATMS para makita yung mga ano. So, uh, we will be assuming na uh, ATS yung mga yung ano, uh, mag-implement mag project para uh, break up by Monday na mag, uh, mag, uh, mag-contact ng project. So, we will be asking the ATMS to review yung mga document para mabago yung mga pang uh, document para sa Nandito man, uh, nandito naman na naman eh, uh, OIC, so kumit na dyan niya. Hindi na kasi ito sa amin eh. Hindi mo mo sa amin eh. Sige, okay. Yan okay, okay lang? Sige sir. Uh, sige, sige. Thank you. So, sige tayo, pag-ipando sa, pag-ipando sa, sa minutes. Mr. Chair, that's the last agenda for this morning session, sir. Okay. So the meeting is uh, being suspended and we will continue in by 2 p.m. Okay. Thank you. And uh, it depends on all the activities scheduled for some of the one time. So, it's uh, already available now. Available now. But we are the virus already. Then the... Uh, and then, right, we are in the facility. Sabi kami dun sa 130 na nga si Alex. So, so if, we could, if we could complete by 3, we will be able to complete yet. Did they answer? Did they answer? We will start with uh, item 5.2 and 5.3 because we have some leaders. Uh, we have some 
ADSB. Okay. Alex Bianco from Pacific Chemical Development. I'm Shirley Nakura, Everton University for ADSB. Rina Cordo from Philbox, Philippines, building for ADSB. Other company? Babylon Titan, Korea Airport Corporation for the ILS. Any other company? I'm from Indra. I'm Jade Ramos. Alan Cruz from Arrest Corporation, leading for ADSB. 
any other company integrated energy systems for um <coughs> So good afternoon, readers. So I'm going to discuss the checklist of the required feeding techniques. So the feeding documents will consist of three major items. First, the technical. Second is eligibility. And the third one is the financial. Okay. So technical and eligibility documents should be placed in one envelope. envelope. Then the financial component should be placed in another envelope, envelope two. Then these two envelopes must be placed in an, another envelope, the original envelope. Then you have to make two copies of these documents. Then in the same manner, you will place, the placement should be the same. You will place it in a, another envelope, the copy one, and the second duplicate should be in the copy two. Then these three envelopes should be placed in one big envelope. So total of 10 envelopes. These 10 envelopes must be, all of these envelopes must be sealed and signed. Okay, going to the details on the technical eligibility and financial components, the first envelope will consist the eligibility documents and the technical documents as mentioned before. <coughs> so for the eligibility documents, we have the class A documents. You have to submit the FELGEPS registration and platinum membership, including its annex A. Then the SEC registration certificate the mayor's business permit or its equivalent document, tax clearance, audited financial statement, and Philippine contractors accreditation for pickup license and registration. This is only not this pickup is only applicable for infra projects, but I believe this one is good. So so this is also required. So then this number seven is the statement of all ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be paid. Number eight, you need to submit the statement identifying the bidder's single largest completed contract similar to the contract to be bid. The single largest completed contract should be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC and completed within the last 10 years. <coughs> Number nine, this NFCC computation, this is in accordance with IPB clause 5.5. Okay, for the technical components, number one, you need to submit bid security. It shall be in accordance with IPB clause 18 and shall be limited to letter A, bid security declaration, or letter B, customs or cashiers, managers check issued by universal or universal or commercial bank in the amount of now less than 2% of the ABC. Letter C, bank draft guarantee or irrevocable letter of credit issued by a universal or commercial bank in the amount of not less than 2% of the ABC. And the last one, letter D, surety bond in the amount of not less than 5% of ABC. 
then organizational chart of conduct DP, list of construction personnel, list of construction equipment. This, uh, I think this one is not uh, required because this is for uh, infra projects. Item three and four. Then number five, omnibus sworn, sworn statement, form described in section nine for building forms. The number six, certificate of site inspection duly signed by the facility in charge or his duly authorized representative. This shall include all the following as attachment to the certificate of site inspection and shall form part of the bidder's technical documents. Letter A, photocopy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection and letter B, photocopy of the airport's visitor's lab. I want to stress out on the comp on the on letter A, it should be the company ID, not any other ID. Then the last one, number seven, bid bull bulletin, it A. For the class B documents, this is only applicable a joint venture shall submit a joint venture agreement, JVA, in accordance with RA4566 and its IRR. As mentioned before, the second envelope will consist of the financial components. So the financial components will, shall consist of the following. The financial deed form, the field of quantities, the bid proposal, detailed estimate, summary of unit prices for materials, labor, and equipment. And number six, this shall include the following documents as to the cash flow by quarter and payment schedule and shall form part of the bidder's financial document. Letter A, construction schedule. bar chart and S curve, and that will be cash flow by quarter and payments. So. so correction, number six is no longer required for this particular project. Okay, requirements for the document. For all the documents, each page of the documents must be signed, initialed by the authorized signatory. Then each document must be paginated consecutively pages. For example, if it's 100 pages a document, the first document will start from the one of 100 up to the last page, which should, which should be 100 of 100. Then the documents required are, are required to be labeled, indexed, and tabbed with corresponding annex label. All envelopes must be sealed and signed by the authorized signatory. Uh, please take note that non-compliance of these basic requirements is a ground for this court. Any question for them? Yes, sir. You mentioned that this is a procurement of for goods, not infra. Okay. But you are requiring that the bidder should have a valid pickup license. Uh, as far as I I think uh, this is a. Uh, um, <coughs> sorry, the graphic. Uh, this is the what is in the uh, um, attached in the building document. Uh, uh, this is your checklist, official checklist. Uh, what was discussed a while ago was uh, standard. Class A and Class B documents. This is you have to follow Section 12 
of the IPB to standards. Uh, and uh, for the technical documents, we also follow the Section 12 of the IPB, including additional documents, uh, uh, the following documents uh, specified in Section 12.1b II of the BDS. Later, I will show you the list of documents. And uh, valid pickup small B size range C or D license category in general engineering or general building classification. And you will be doing it. Hold down, sir. So, question. Let me finish with the financial component. Uh, financial component will, uh, should, uh, the bidder should refer to the section 13 of the ITB. Um, what is included there? Uh, bid form. Uh, accomplish form for goods offered from abroad and or for goods offered from within the Philippines, whichever is applicable. <coughs> and uh, additional form, which is Annex A-ITP 13.1 form. It is also included, uh, the form is also included in the bidding document that you want. And now for your question, sir. So my question is, your requirement of, uh, to have a valid pickup license for the builder or for the subcontractor of the builder? If you can refer to the BDS, section uh, 8.1 and 8.2, uh, subcontracting of site preparation, <coughs> incidental electrical civil works, or ATM system OEM integration works is allowed. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, then uh, I have this. I have this. To be clear, please uh, please continue to this. I have the. Yeah, sorry, sir. To so the chair, what was being discussed is ADSP. No, sir. Okay, after the check, we accepted the ADSP that is to be made to some confusion and solution documents. Regarding the requirement of having a pickup license, this is for this is for the builder or for the subcontractor of the builder. It depends who will be doing the electrical and civil works component of the project. And my second question is, uh, since you are requiring pickup license as a mandatory requirement. Probably because of the nature of the project, the complexity of the project. Perhaps it is most appropriate that the specialization of the pickup license should fall under air navigation facilities, not electrical work. Electrical work can be you're fixing a building that's electrical work, but this one is specific air navigation. Um, for for goods, actually, there's no requirement for pickup. But what we have uh, there is actually some civil work and electrical components. For the, if you're talking about INS Albao, please uh, please listen to this. We do not only with these first. Oh, okay. Don't mention about INS Albao. We will take it. We will take it. Yeah. Um, sorry, Mister Chair. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sorry, Mister Chair. What is being required, maybe you could add answer, what is being required, what pickup license in the PDSP? For the project, establishment of ADS3 ground station, including data processor. Um, under 8.2 of the BDS, construction of electrical civil works component shall be done by a company with a valid pickup of <coughs> size range. 
COD license category in general engineering or general building. Mm -hmm. That's very important. There's no mention of electrical power, electrical works specialization or air navigation facilities specialization. None. May, may we appear that it should be amended to include the specialization in air navigation facility. If you are considering the project is highly complex <coughs> and uh, for the safety of passengers and the general public, then specialization should be in air navigation. Through the chair, uh, this is actually the minimum requirement. Uh, pick up small B size range. The, the protection of the government is that we've required um, OEM approved installers for the, the equipment installation. So the, they don't have pickup. But we've required the OEM to install the equipment. That is our protection for your safety. That, that's, what, that's what you're calling safety. But for the, since pickup is not required for goods, uh, we needed some uh, protection for the construction of electric and civil works component of the project. So that's why we require a small bit, the minimum requirement. You can be triple A, double A, what? But we require the minimum small B size range, C or D license category. Okay. If you're triple A, that's okay. Sir, the schedule for the site inspection because you will record the certificate. Um, you can uh, write a letter uh, to um, requesting for the site inspection so we can uh, coordinate with our facilities. Uh, you, sorry, through the chair, you address your letter request to the uh, air navigation service. Um, engineer uh, and Gardo Please include, for your information, please include the names so we can advise our facilities so we will be authorized to enter the facility. Any other questions, sir? You have um, um, identified your subcontractors. They have to submit uh, the appropriate uh, utilities. But you can always check uh, under the IRR. You can always change the subcontractors. But you have to advise the uh, the changes. Sorry, another question. Uh, I'll be from SMS UT. SMS Global Technologies. Regarding the certificate of completion, sir, uh, with the weather condition during this month, especially for specific site, Jumali, uh, is there a possibility that uh, the submission of certificate of inspection can be submitted on the post qualification, if possible? Possibility of submission of certificate of inspection. Um, for the chair, the answer is no. Okay. We required it to be submitted uh, on the day, date of the open day, together with the technical proposal. If I may continue with section, uh, 
reflecting all performance and functional specifications of the post products. Section 12.1, certification that the supplied spare parts by the OEM is designed quantified for operation and specified availability and submitted MTBFs. And Section 4.2, resumes and responsibilities of ADSB OEM qualified installers personnel will be involved in the project will be submitted only on the post wall uh, portion. So you don't need to submit the bulk documents now on the day of the submission of bids. So pag na, if you will be uh, post wall, so that's the time you will just submit these documents. Now for, uh, on the day of the submission of bids, uh, these are the following documents that you should be Submitting under G3, except G3F, the proposed design drawings. So, certification of OEM manufacturer of the Manila ATM system, proposed project implementation schedule, maintenance <coughs> plan, list of test instruments and special tools included offered in the bid, spare parts list to support 99.9% .9 systems availability, including the certificate of site inspections. Uh, should be present uh, during the opening of the <coughs> which is on October 22. October 22. Mm -hmm. Sir, question. Uh, considering that the OEM manufacturer is an independent entity, will the uh, procuring entity assist in assist the uh, Perspective that they are securing the certification referred to in G, section G. G, uh, no, you will have to be doing all the documentation. What if the what if the OEM manufacturer refuses to issue the certification? Then you will not be able to submit the document because it is required in here. So, discretionary on the OEM manufacturer whether they will. Um, I don't know if it will be a discretion, but uh, we've required this to see to it that the main contractor and the systems or the OEM uh, of the AT our AT current operational ATM system is um, uh, will complete the integration works. What did the refuse to offer you? Then, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, project, the project is to plan uh, installation of ETC and integration to the current ETS system. Yes. So, so if you cannot integrate them, you cannot integrate them. Matagal na ito eh, no? It's been ongoing for seven years. When we first started the bidding, we think the last administration. The, the, the basic issue there was still the integration of the Thales. On the case of Singra, we've been talking to Thales ever since email or what. They have not responded on the commercial side of the story. How much it will cost? and how it will integrate with Thales. 
probably this is the issue regarding integration. In this case, the way we look at it, only technology provider, Thales, can do this. Perhaps with their selected uh, third party agency. The building government will be losing so much in terms of you know the competitive building. If you will proceed on that premise. Our our contention is if you can relax this integration, just proceed with the ADS big up station. And later on that will be your first challenge. Can this be uh, divided into two? The project and the, uh, the integration to be another building? Definitely. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry. So that is our project. That's our decision. And we need to implement that. So uh, we, we, we consider everything already. And that is the decision of the procurement team to make it in one project. So to proceed with that, yes. That's, that's the reason why we are open with that you have the option to coordinate with Thales. Because we have equipment with Thales, so we cannot avoid that. We cannot avoid that. We are coordinated with Thales. But that, that, that condition is impossible to fulfill, Mr. Chairman. We have become a coordinated with the Unless, unless Thales uh, uh, service providers will be the one that's for Is that the position of the civil aviation authority when it comes to this ads big down station? No, we, we are not only after ads big down station. It should be the whole system. It is not uh, uh, advantageous to the government if we install the ads and we cannot integrate in, in our ETS system. It will be done. So we need to integrate it. And to make sure that it will be integrated, it should be part with all due respect, sir, what did you separate the integration? Mm -hmm. It will be difficult to implement that project. And there is a possibility that ground station will be installed, but it cannot be Because Thales doesn't want to integrate. Probably. But we, are, we, are, we want to make sure that the project will be completed. That's why we are requiring that it should be only one time. Thank you. Is there a legal issue there? Uh, for the Thank you. Thank you. Or will there be a legal issue? Right now we're only implementing the by um, our, our other participating bidder. Um, for the past seven years, Thales has been not responsive as regards this integration question. So maybe, since you're requiring it as a requirement, you could assist the bidders in securing the certification for Thales. Since, as mentioned by my colleague earlier, Thales is an independent third-party agency, and if he alone made the bidders approach them, then it's within their right to refuse us to issue us the certification. But maybe if the procuring entity Tata can direct them, if serves the interest of the government to issue that <coughs> to direct them to cooperate with the other bidders, then maybe that can help us with this um, issue. So 
that was given to us, and now we have to integrate, and we wanted to have an EPS system as well, but we also have to integrate it with the current system. That's why the decision of the end user for this particular instance, the air navigation service system, to put it together. The procurement installation and the integration. But again, all of your comments, we will uh, refer this to the head of the procurement agency. This is the review conference. Uh, I think there is still to be the ministry changes afterward, we change our procurement agency. But right now, the Dr. President has already signed by the director of the government. Again, no technical comments. I think one of the reasons for having this PVET conference is to relax or to shed light on the requirements. I think um, the BAC has given the authority to take out or relax the requirements if it is um, merited. Yes. And in this case, um, if you look at the requirement, a certification from Thales seems to be, um, if I may, tailor fitted to the particular supplier that Thales would want to support. Because if um, the other bidders try to secure that certification from them and they don't have that blessing from Thales, for sure it would be impossible for them to secure that certification. So um, since the requirement seems tailored to that maybe the back can also decide to lift it if they can't um, direct Thales to cooperate with the other bidders. First, I can take exception to your mention of the word The jurors step. Uh, just for the record. Second, again, I mentioned while well, the chair that this has already been signed by the director of the
of the technical specification, GAP specifies that the project will complete the building for the calendar This correction is 365 calendar days. Uh, we will issue appropriate bid bulletins. Um, under 7.3.61, MPLS is one year, you have to cover. What about the satellite satellite space segment? Um, for the chair, it's also one. Uh, the, for the space segment, you have to submit the required bandwidth requirements. Mm -hmm. So for the site, for each, uh, for the Jumalik only, because Jumalik will be uh, using VSAT. And uh, you have to submit the ba uh, bandwidth requirements for that site, and you will CAP will be providing the uh, uh, but we will provide the uh, ground stations alignment for the mm -hmm. okay. So CAP will, will cover the cost of the Requirements uh, number two, the latest B central processing maintenance areas. Um, item number three, extended coverage VHF equipment and auxiliaries for General Santos International Airport and Somali <coughs> Airport. 
including the integration to the existing BCS. And uh, item number four, network communications. Uh, provision of uh, one year MPLS under the name of Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. For Nawab, Tagaytay, General Santos, Puerto Princesa, Mount Magic. Stations. And as mentioned, uh, provision of new visa system for Jumani Ground Station. Factory and outside training, factory acceptance test, um, testing and commissioning support, and uh, DLP, one year DLP on parts and service and one year uh, warranty on parts and service. So <coughs> refer to the technical specific, uh, specifications for detailed requirements. the use of the form ITB, uh, Annex A, ITB 13.1 form, which is also attached in the written document. Um, so you have to indicate the brand type and model version and the quantities of your proposed uh, systems. And this is expected to be inside your financial comp uh, bid. technical specification. Uh, it says comply and then there's another paragraph says will supply. What shall we uh, put as an entry? Is it comply or will supply? Just a clarification. <coughs> will supply and then uh, comply on the because some of the uh, items or descriptions in under the specification 
uh, will not require you to <coughs> say comply or not comply, but uh, it would it will the, the the option is will supply. If you it will not if you will not be supplying, then it will not be you, you that during evaluation it will not pass. <coughs> for for the because this is the standard table you will be using uh, for four columns, <coughs> section, specification, compliance six statement, six and reference to support statement, and you also have to read the page number where we can find the value, let's say, for a certain performance characteristic, you have to read the page number of the document. Compliance statement. We will have to. Uh, you will have to put either comply or not comply. Thank you. 
queries again regarding peak of life there. Uh, in the requirement, <coughs> there is a specialization requirement in electrical engineering. Can this be changed to air navigation process? Considering the complexity again of the work to be done. In the same manner, when the previous building, uh, if it is uh, AFL, you require specialization in AFL. In this case, since it is instrumental in system, the specialization should be in the mediation facility. As a requirement. Again, <coughs> it is for the public safety that only experienced uh, contractor should be allowed to handle this kind of project. Just like Evercon, they're very specialized. Uh, I think we need to show you what, what is the requirement. <coughs> Thank you. 
talagang special so hindi yung yun po especially for air navigation service po this is a highly technical and highly specialized service right so you know if you do it in one in one aspect maybe if there is a point we do it in other aspects but I, I'm just not so sure about the navigation because I don't know what that particular category does it apply to this particular project o baka naman mag-broaden pala ano kasi if you say navigation I just want to understand if you're not familiar with the concept I forgive my uh, ignorance and if wala ko naman yung sinasabi <coughs> You're saying, but if it is for the purpose of safety, we make sure that that is for the best interest of the Indica, uh, then why not consider that? But they have to explain to us what is that, and they have to research that also. So because right now, I'm just a one uh, member of this representation of likely, likely side with the end user of this. Because we have already protected of the yung, the quality of work, because we require that the one will be installed is an OEM authorized person. 
and thus the similar contracts for the bidder, uh, they should have an experience on ILS and DBOR. And for the and or DBOR. So if you have DBOR experience, INS experience, you comply with the requirement. <coughs> How many prospective bidders are in the industry for INS? We have three companies, three jobs. Can we, can we get the whole on that? Because for me, this is really an important uh, discussion. About the bit of license. What is the, what is the pleasure of the good days in the other phone? Can they be Yes, uh, uh, I am here from Advanced Security and Safety Solutions. Maybe uh, putting in additional requirements or increasing the minimum requirement for the pickup license is a restrictive uh, provision. Anyway, the government, the people in the Philippines is protected because you are requiring that the leader has a completed single language <coughs> contract, which is at least equal to 50%. So there's no question about the credibility of uh, the prospect, prospective leader. And we're not uh, also discrediting the better leader if uh, they have a uh, higher pickup. It doesn't mean that you have a uh, higher category pickup. Uh, would look down on uh, a small uh, B pickup license. Thank you, sir. No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> sir, they know, sir.
Ini bisa orang ampi kap nama telaga is for more on infra, but there are also categories for communication, electronics, and the likes. And for the safety naman, kung talaga tinitingnan ng end user yung 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 quality ng workmanship, dire require nyo naman na it should be the OEM manufacturer who should install. So that's enough, rather than a company having a pickup license na ang mag-install local, yung local na wala namang training or niretrain lang. So, what's the quality then? So, we would rather tagalin na lang natin yung pickup. To be fair with everybody. Maybe last but less 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 Yes, yeah. Well, we we agree with that. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. We have a lot of questions. Balang dito. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you. 
Tamam. Tamam.
Thank you, sir. 